Hi, I'm Becky Bruin and welcome to my channel. Mansfield Park is Jane Austen's controversial novel. As far as like writing and character development, I think it stands with her other mature novels. But her audience is split on whether or not it's a good story. On the pro she's side a, <laughs> and on the con she's side. She's a and she's at the center of the queen. split is Fanny Price. Does this make you curious about our little Fanny Price from the 1800s? She's still stirring up controversy. So you might want to read it or reread it, but I cannot recommend watching an adaptation. I believe there will never be a good and faithful adaptation of Mansfield Park. I do think it is because of Fanny Price, but even more, I think it's because of the problematic plot structure of Mansfield Park. 30 years ago, three morally flabby sisters married three very different men. Lady Bertram married wealth, and she is completely idle. She's disconnected from her life. She's happy in the way that a drugged cat might be happy. <laughs> her children are Tom, Edmund, Mariah, and Julia. Mrs. Norris lowered her sights and married a clergyman. Now she's a penny-pinching moocher who orbits her sister's life, uh, taking advantage of all of the perks of wealth. Mrs. Price married for love and against her family's wishes. She lives in relative squalor with her husband and eight children, idolizing her sons and ignoring her daughters. Fanny Price belongs to her. When Fanny is 10, she is called to live with the Bertrams uh, and be raised alongside her cousins. She is fearful and humble and really a deep thinking introvert. But she also has a very strong moral center. Uh, where did she even get that? <laughs> we don't know. Maybe it skips a generation. <laughs> um, her cousins are nice enough to her, but really only Edmund has the same kind of moral character that she does. And by the time she's grown up, she has very quietly fallen in love with him. Enter Henry and Mary Crawford, brother and sister, uh, and they have just moved into the neighborhood. They are the opposite of Fanny and Edmund. They are lively and fun and witty and musical and poetic. She is beautiful and he is charming. They are not morally flabby. They are morally elastic, naughty and dangerous. Guess which pair is the most fun to watch? <laughs> Guess which pair makes the better story and plot? Yes, the naughty ones. <laughs> Daddy Bertram has to leave town for an extended period of time and the young people are left to steer their own ships. Henry Crawford has spent his life fooling around and not falling in love. <laughs> and he turns his charms onto the Bertram sisters, Mariah and Julia. But he ends up preferring Mariah because she is engaged to be married. Um, and the engaged ones are a lot less uh, of a threat to his bachelorhood. Mary Crawford initially wants the older Bertram son uh, for his money and his position, but ends up falling for the morally sturdy Edmund. Um, and he falls in love right back. There are trips to neighbors and minor betrayals and uh, parlor theatrics um, and, and dangerous flirtations. And where is our Fanny Price in all of this? She is watching and disapproving and refusing to participate. She shares almost nothing of herself. She is disappointed in Edmund because he has fallen for Mary Crawford um, and she loves him. But beyond that, the plot has rolled away from her like marbles. Eventually, the plot comes back to her, um, but it's not in an organic way. Henry Crawford has to be almost reconfigured in order to make him fall in love with Fanny Price. And then her uncle has to be essentially cruel and send her back to her impoverished parents uh, for her to even get a storyline. One of Jane Austen's best storytelling moves is that her heroines have to eventually learn something about love and life and move closer to their best selves. Uh, but we don't get that with Fanny Price. We do care about her, but her love for Edmund, which no one even suspects, <laughs> is steady and undying. She doesn't change and she doesn't grow. Fanny represents a concept that ideal, passive, feminine love is rewarded in the end. Jane Austen may have gotten away with this in the novel, but TV and 
film adaptations are not able to skate over this main character storyline problem. In order to satisfy the medium, Fanny Price has to do and act, uh, react. She has to be a central character and the central story. And this is a problem that all adapters face. In 1983, the adapters did a very straight on adaptation, very faithful to the novel and therefore boring <laughs> and confusing. It feels like a love story and then it feels like a tragedy and then it feels like a farce. I think it amplified rather than smoothing over the plot issues. The 1999 version merged Fanny Price with a young Jane Austen. They make Fanny into a writer. Uh, Roger Ebert said it was an improvement on the novel, and he, he may be right about that, but it is not Fanny Price, and it is not Mansfield Park. The 2007 version brings us a gorgeous blonde Fanny Price running around the house like a wild child. They do something clever, though. The uncle never sends her to back to her impoverished parents, so she stays central to the world of Mansfield Park and to the stories but otherwise it's off kilter. I read an analysis that said that Mansfield Park walked so that persuasion could fly. The idea being that Fanny Price is what could have been Fanny Price's plot, and Elliot got it. <laughs> and that has got to be true, right? Because persuasion is very similar in characters and storyline to Mansfield Park. But Anne Elliot was given a growth storyline, uh, which plays much better than Fanny Price's in adaptations. Mansfield Park, the novel, has plenty of fun in it. What happens to Mariah <laughs> would be shocking even in a modern novel. Mary Crawford is one of my all-time favorite corrupt characters and anticipating Mrs. Norris's downfall is <laughs> really good. It's exhilarating. But in my opinion, Mansfield Park will never have a good and faithful adaptation. I would love to be proven wrong. As usual, please share your opinions in the comments. Thanks for being here and see you next time. Bye.